Leon Haslam, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Leon. Good to see you. Microphone on the end. Either of those, I think, are up and running. I think they're on. Leon, we've had a bit of a chat. Obviously, you've taken to the uh, Alstari Suzuki like a duck to water. Training times are unbelievable. Did that surprise you? Yeah, you know, um, obviously, um, I've spent a lot of time in GPs on two strokes, and then I come back to England and, and was on the Ducati, which was the twin. And it was only uh, 08 there, actually, the first time I jumped on a four cylinder bike. And, uh, you know, from there onwards, last year was fantastic with Stig E, the year before with HM Plan. But literally, the fifth lap on the Suzuki at Porto Mayo, we actually lapped quicker on that than what we did on the Stiggy bike after a full weekend of racing and testing. So, you know, from the very first few laps to now, it's, um, you know, it's gone gone really good we've um, we've tested with everyone at least four or five times since uh, since the end of last season and we've not been out of the top two so you know fingers crossed we can continue that and take it to australia in the next few weeks well if you look at the world superbike lineup we've got what seven seven british riders on the grid for 2010 all of those came through british superbike and it, obviously that just underlines the fact that the british superbike championship these guys are in is still the strongest domestic championship in the world would you agree yeah definitely you know, that's uh, it's been proven for a lot of years that as you know with your last year Hodsons and your Chris's and, and obviously these guys coming through and uh, you know we all did wild cards in 08 and, and we, we all got on the podium me Cal and Sykesy you know so it, it shows that the, the competition in England is really strong um, the English tracks are quite unique and hard to get on with um, so to master them it definitely puts you in uh, in good stead for the world championship uh, on current form you know and I'm not gonna put the devil's curse on current form you really are a title contender Nobody's more aware of that than you. Where's the main opposition going to come from? Yeah, you know, I think there's going to be so many people that can win races week in, week out, but you can never take it away from your, you know, your hold hands as your hoggers and your biagers. I think, you know, Max is on a very, very good package, and uh, you know, he's still a very fast guy. He got on the podium for the last four rounds of last year. Uh, Arger obviously uh, finishing second again in the championship, and, and obviously a very good package with the Ducati. I think they're going to be the main two that's that's going to be there consistently. Um, but then you've got a rook of Brits that, you know, with Johnny Ray, Cal, Toesland, a proven guy. Um, you know, Shaky is on a factory bike this year with, uh, you know, Leon Cami on a, on the Aproia with Max. There's, there's just so many of us that can be there. And, um, you know, it's, it's just really good news for England. And from my side of things, you obviously, you want to be your teammate, you want to win races, but you want to be first Brit as well. And, uh, you know, my feeling is if I can be first Brit this year, that I'm I think I'm going to be challenging for the title and, and that's my first aim. I've got to ask you, because you mentioned his name, you know, and I know you'll always give me an honest answer. How is James Tozman going to fare, in your opinion? You, you know, James is a proven rider. You know, he, he don't win two world titles for not for being a bad rider, you know. No matter what the competition was when he was there and was winning, he, he is a fast rider. And, uh, you know, I've been to GPs and, and obviously Danny's there now and it is hard when you have haven't got everything there. You need you need the team, the bike, the everything, the mentality to make it work. And you know he's had a tough time in GPs, and uh, there's no doubt he's going to be fast in World Superbike. And um, you know he's on the championship winning bike. So everyone's saying that he's not going to be here or he's not going to be doing this. He's, he is going to be fast, and he's going to be someone that you're going to have to you know contend with. So you know I think he will will come through, and uh, he's just finding his feet right now. But he's, he's you know he's only a few tenths off, and uh, I think he'll step up. That's brilliant. Thank you, Leon. Ladies and gentlemen, Leon has...